Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Two Girls Drink Beer. Today, we are drinking beer. Oh, and that's Danielle, and I'm Steve. Oh! <laughs> I forgot our intro. Hi, I'm Danielle. Oh, yeah, and I'm Steve. All right, now that we've covered that, what are we drinking today, Danielle? Today, we are drinking Otter Creek Brewing Bonus Stage IPA, and there's a story behind this. Yeah, Danielle, why are we drinking it today <laughs> and not, like, two weeks ago? So if you're podcast listeners, hello. Thank you for, for being our fans on both platforms. But so we were recording the video and Christina was like, Danielle, check the screen, check the check, check the uh, shot and then press play. So I and then press record. And I was like, OK, I can do that. It looks a little weird, but you know what? It should be fine. So we went back and watched the video after we recorded it for 20 minutes, and um, I accidentally had the phone on slow-mo. So the first part is like this, and then all of a sudden it gets like this, and it went so good. And I couldn't fix it. I was trying to figure out a way to like fast forward it. I mean, I probably could have downloaded it, and now that I'm thinking about it, I probably could have fast forwarded it in iMovie. Mm -hmm. But I literally just thought of that right now. Originally, Dave had given us this beer, correct? Yes, this is Darling Dave's pick. This is what it looks like. So it's Otter Creek. Yes, it's a, it's a video game. I like that it says push start, next level New England IPA. Crack open a can of our next level New England IPA and let your taste buds conquer the layers of citrus and tropical fruit hop flavors. So it is a game and I, we're completely blanking on this video game, but I remember my parents, so I had a Nintendo 64 growing up and we had a game that was all old arcade games that you could play in the N64 and this was one of them. Cannot remember the name. It has to be something Galaxy. I'm telling you that I played this when we went to Yestercades. It, it, I think like it was like it's Battlestar Galaxy or something like that. Why do I? Why am I thinking Battlestar? Are you thinking Battlestar Galactica? I 100% am, but I also think that it has something to do with this. Every time I hear Battlestar Galactica, do you know what I think of? Bears, Beats, and Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, it's called Galaxia, classic 80s arcade game, space shooter. It's called Galaxy. Or Galaxia, or Galagia. Maybe. All right, moving on. Let's let's try it, because I'm, I'm antsy here. All right. And you may be wondering why Christina is not giving me flack. What we've already established is this is an IPA I actually enjoy, which is why it's so sad that we lost that original footage of me coming to the realization that I actually enjoy an IPA. It's very orange. Mm-hmm. It's very hazy. I cannot see my hand. No fingers. Can't see anything. It smells hoppy. It really does. But I also smell, um, I, I smell some fruit. Yeah. Like, now my nails are crap. We trade off. Ooh. I was worried that I liked it the first time and I wasn't going to like it the second time. No, still like it. It's I was so also worried for that. <laughs> it's so smooth. I don't get it. I don't get how they make an IPA like this. It's just like. The little bit of hop as an aftertaste, but it's nothing compared to some other IPAs I've drank. This is so yeah. good. I don't know how else to say this, but it tastes like a regular beer. <laughs> and then the aftertaste tastes more. And then the aftertaste, you have that hop and you get hit with that like citrusy kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. Like some orange, maybe some lemon. I don't know. Yeah, I don't get how they do it. It's so good. What would you eat with this? Because I don't remember what we said. I Honestly, I was just thinking that because I'm hungry right now. So I'm like, what am I going to order? And if I'm still with food, like if I'm still eating food and drinking this, what, what would I do? This is perfect. You know what? I, okay, this is what I'm going to say. I don't know if this is actually what I'm going to order, but this is what I'm going to say. Okay. An Italian sub. Really? Yeah, with the ham, the gabagol, the the mutz, I do that. Oh, okay. Only because Dave and I have been talking about it for like a while now. But I think I want din 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 pizza, din 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 crust pizza. Barely there. You know those bras that are like barely there. I want barely there pizza. Gotcha. So like, 
are we talking like a star tavern bar pie or more like a a wood wood fire oven pizza maybe wood fire i've never been to star tavern you're what? like the sixth person to tell me i have we had their pizza let me rephrase that i don't remember going to star tavern for those that it, were in New Jersey, Star Tavern is like an institution in West Orange, I believe it is. East. Is it East Orange? I don't know. It's in one of the oranges. And it's like bar pie. It's a very specific type of pizza. Not typical to New Jersey. Correct. It's one pizza. Why would you bring up pizza, Christine? <laughs> no. I like how you said one of the oranges. And people who are listening are like, oh, yeah. So we have orange, West Orange, East Orange, South Orange. No North Orange. <laughs> we lost it so i feel like the crisp with the refreshing kind mm -hmm. of like beer taste would go really well together i feel like this is an outdoor beer this is like a chilling in the park got your you got your pizza i got my sandwich we're on the park we're hanging out outside it's a spring day maybe i'm just thinking this because it is currently a spring day and it's so beautiful outside but that's the move here it is very spring you want to know how i know it's spring do you have to take claritin <laughs> like me no, I don't have I don't have seasonal allergies. I uh I do. I'm sorry. What? Birds living on my air conditioner. That's how I know it's spring. Oh, okay. Yeah, I uh I realized I so I'm allergic to pine and I'm allergic to tree pollen. So me and trees just don't like each other apparently. Yeah. This eyeball, I was telling you, this eyeball itchy and swollen yesterday morning. Tree pollen. That's absurd. The left side of just the left. This gland swells up. This wisdom tooth is a jerk. So you'll have to stand. We'll have to get you so that you're you're standing in a doorway. So like half of your body is outside in the backyard and the other half is inside. So like your official role is the door trafficker. So you make people go in and out. That's your role in this situation. Now you drink this beer and the right side of your body is enjoying the outside and the left side of the body is like, all right, let's move it along. I am I am Harvey Dent. I am two faced and the right side of my body is buttoned up and the other the left side of my body is out there interesting it's interesting it's your i think it's your libra moon the the weights it's definitely this this is how it is you're just leaning towards the left so what would you rate this beer christina a 9.5 I'm saying 9.7. This is an amazing beer. I Actually, no, I'm going 9.8. This is an up there beer. It is so good. I would, I personally, an IPA non-fan would buy this and drink this by myself. Yeah, I that. think I, I think part of your rating and why it's so high is the shock factor that you're like legitimately enjoying it. And it's a beer that like you don't really enjoy. And so far we've only had two IPAs on the channel that you've enjoyed. If you, ha if you guys had seen my initial shock, it was a lot more because I was just like, I, I, I can't believe it. But now the fact that I was, I uh, was very worried that I would not like this a second time. No, it's just as good, just as good. This is a perfect IPA in my mind. And I'm not going to drink any more IPAs. <laughs> this is it. We're setting the bar now. Well, you are, because one of the variety packs we have has, uh, like, two IPAs in it. I'm so sorry. Watch me like it and be like, it was like God or Creek. Out of spite. Out of spite, you're not going to like it. So I hate to say it because I find myself saying it entirely too often now. But way to go, Dave. You were right. This was good. Thanks, Dave. Yay, David. <laughs> Did your mom just say My mom goad. My mom goad. Oh. <laughs> Ew, David. My mom goes, Ew, David. <laughs> <laughs> well, now the cat's out of the bag. For those of you who've been keeping up with this, Dave's aware of what it's from now. But he's strangely not bothered by it as much he's, as I thought he would. Not. Yesterday we hung out and we went walking around the mall and he was, I was like, I want to get lunch now. And he's like, all right, let's go. And I was like, yay, David, lunch. And he was like, how long are you going to keep this up? And I was like, honestly, until you're annoyed with it. Okay. We need to close this video out because we've yeah. got the rails completely. I'll get it under 15 minutes somehow. Check out the podcast. Check out the YouTube channel. We have some variety packs coming up, but let us know. We have an ongoing, I'm not kidding. We have an ongoing Google Doc or Google Sheet rather, of all of the people who are suggesting beers. 
so that when we actually get together and go to the liquor store together, we can have all of the things. So send us them at two girls watch TV at gmail.com to a spell dot T-W-O. Um, or you could just like comment below and tell us things. That's fine. Get in touch with us. Please. But please. <laughs> all right. That's it. All right, everyone. Enjoy Bye. the rest of the week. Bye. <laughs>